Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag wasted no time in handing Lanery Euro his first appearance for the club. The centre-back was signed from Lille for an initial 62 million euros, 67.8 million dollars, on July 18 and was handed his first start for the club just two days later in a friendly match with Rangers at Murrayfield in Scotland. It was something of a surprise to see the 18-year-old fast-tracked into pre-season duties after a whirlwind few days in which he chose to sign for United despite long being expected to join European champions Real Madrid. So, how did the France under-21 international get on in his first appearance in the famous red shirt? Lanery Euro Man United debut versus Rangers, rating new signings performance. Euro was named in the starting lineup alongside veteran defender Johnny Evans. Aaron W.A. Mbasaka was next to the new signing at right back, with academy product Sam Murray on the opposite flank. He was called upon quickly to intervene when Cyril Dessas was given a run-through on goal, but he showed good pace and strength to keep up with the forward and timed his tackle well. The opening half-hour was otherwise a quiet one for the United defence in general, which may well have helped any initial nerves for the teenager. He looked comfortable in possession, of which United had nearly 75%, completing all but one of his first 34 passes. Three of these were accurate long balls, one of which was a superb crossfield pass to pick out the forward run of Sam Murray. Euro was happy to offer instruction to his new teammates. At one stage late in the first half, he ordered Ahmad Diallo to make a run before trying to arrow a long pass over the top to the winger, which was well intercepted by fullback Jefter. There were a couple of nervy moments, though. 32 minutes in, a low cross from the right found Dessas, who turned away from Euro and saw his shot saved by Andre Onana. Around five minutes later, Euro played a rather careless pass in between Toby Collier and Evans, allowing Dessas to lead a quick counter. To Euro's credit, he recovered quickly to block the striker's shot. Ten Hag will have been far more pleased with Euro's involvement in United's opening goal in the first half. Euro's pass into Mason Mount allowed the midfielder to turn and run into space before finding Ahmad Diallo, who cut in from the left and found the bottom corner with a superb strike. Euro was substituted at halftime as Ten Hag changed the entire United lineup, except for goalkeeper Onana, for the second half. The manager will likely have been pleased with what he saw in those first 45 minutes of Euro's Red Devils career. Lanery Euro stats for Man United vs Rangers Touches, 51. Passes completed, 44 48. Long passes completed, 4 7. Tackles 1, 1 la 1. Duels 1, 1 la 1. Blocks, 1. Clearances, 1. Recoveries, 2. Manchester United have been slammed for making a profit from the sale of Mason Greenwood to Marseille and told to donate the transfer fee by a domestic abuse campaigner. Greenwood, who spent last season on loan at Hetafa in La Liga, joined Marseille in a €30 million, Euros, £25 million pounds, deal this week, despite a backlash from fans of the League One outfit. United faced a backlash too after it emerged the club were thinking about keeping the attacker last year, after charges of attempted rape, controlling and coercive behaviour and assault occasioning actual bodily harm were dropped due to key witnesses withdrawing their involvement. Speaking to I, domestic abuse campaigner David Challen and activist said, Man United's a massive global sports club that rakes in hundreds of millions a year and that they didn't release a player, which they could have done quite easily, and chose to retain him for their own financial needs, really prioritizes the financial needs of the company above women. Challen was also critical of United's minority owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his Ineos group, claiming they have no interest in women's football and are only interested in success for the men's team. It seems to be a phase of the vision of what's happening at Man United anyway, he said. It's a disturbing insight into the culture at Man United and how they are treating women, pushing them quite literally to the side and the periphery of the club. He, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, cares about success on the pitch for the men's team but the women won a major trophy, the FA Cup, and he wasn't even there. And he added, it just doesn't seem like the club cares, even on a basic level, about women and girls. They didn't even engage with women's charities until the 11th hour, the fact they can't donate to one of those charities or maybe a charity in the local area, it's woeful, especially for a club of Man United's size. Services nationally are crippled and need funding, even in the local area. 
It's staggering, but unfortunately, it's not surprising, because they had the chance to release him, but they didn't. The article has faced a backlash from fans online, even though some United fans and journalists have recognized that the Greenwood situation has not been handled well by the club. We asked for your thoughts on what Manchester United should do next in the summer transfer window after completing the £52 million signing of young central defender Lanery Euro from Lille. Here are some of your responses. Mike, promising signing, and finally not someone approaching the last stages of their career, and, seemingly, not injury-prone. We need more defensive signings, well, we need signings in many positions, but it is a project, not a sprint. Kevin, sell Lindelof and Aaron W.A.M. Basaka, get in De Ligt and Frimpong. Out with Casemiro and McTominay, in with Rubio and Ugarte. Finally out with Sancho and in with Ivan Tony. FYN, I think going for an unpredictable right winger because Anthony has not preformed last season and with Garnacho and Hodgland partnering the right winger, it would be a near-perfect lineup. A player like Rodrigo or Soccer, but obviously not such a high price tag. Phil, need to sell Deadwood to generate funds and squad space and wages for incomings. Casemiro replacement next priority. Could be Ugarte or someone from left field like Zubimendi from Sociedad. Dave, I think we need another centre-back of proven quality. Maguire and Lindelof are not at that level, they never will be. It's time to ship them out and get in replacements who can play at the level Ten Hag requires. And he knows De Ligt who, granted, has never played in the Premier League but is world-class. If I could, I would sign him today. Christine, I would like to see another defender signed, De Ligt would be a good choice. Whether Casemiro stays or goes, I think keeping Amrabat and signing Rubio on a free makes financial sense as both are great players. David, Onana was not anything special as far as United keepers have been in the past. Replace him for starters. Maybe a defensive midfielder also. Paul, I think United need to find a replacement for Onana in goal, sign another central defender and sell Anthony, Casemiro and Sancho. Then we should have a decent squad for the season. The Red Devils may have just captured the signature of Wonderkid Lanery Euro, but it's not all smiles within the camp, following a 1-0 defeat to Rosenborg during their first pre-season outing. Eric Ten Hag launched a scathing attack on his side's performance, with standards needing to improve swiftly. Next up is a trip across the United Kingdom to face Rangers at Murrayfield. The Glasgow outfit also lost their opening pre-season friendly against Ajax last time out, with former Man United Academy graduate Tom Lawrence scoring in a 2-1 defeat. What time does Rangers vs Man United kick off? Location, Edinburgh, Scotland. Stadium, Murrayfield Stadium. Date, Saturday 20 July. Kickoff time, 4pm British Summer Time, 11 o'clock Eastern Time, 8 o'clock Pacific Time. Rangers vs Man United H2H record, all-time. Rangers, zero wins. Man United, three wins. Draws, one. Last meeting, Rangers 0-1 Man United, the 24th of November, 2010, Champions League. Current form, all competitions. How to watch Rangers vs Man United on TV and live stream. It's expected to be a summer of transition for Rangers under Philippe Clement and the club are set to be very active in the market. Right-back James Taverney could leave for Trabzonspor, while the likes of Todd Cantwell and Connor Goldson could also exit. Rangers fielded a strong side for their clash with Ajax recently and should do the same against Man United this weekend. However, midfielder Nico Raskin came off injured before half-time in the Netherlands and could miss out here. Former Man United goalkeeper Jack Butland will guard the net at Murrayfield. Rangers predicted lineup versus Man United. Rangers predicted lineup vs Man United 4 2 3 1 Butland, Sterling, Sauter, Davies, Yilmus, Diamond, Baron, Dowell, Lawrence, Matondo, Dessers. Man United Team News. Man United are still without Harry Maguire and Tyrell Malaysia who are following individual training programs on home soil. However, having missed the clash with Rosenborg, the likes of Andre Onana, Jadon Sancho and Anthony could all feature against Rangers in their first pre-season outings. 
as could Scotland international Scott McTominay who has just returned from his holidays, but new signing Lanery Euro won't be available. It's likely to be another experimental lineup from Eric Ten Hag, who is still missing the likes of Kobi Mainu, Lisandro Martinez and Alejandro Garnacho due to international commitments. The Dutchman may well field two separate lineups in each half. Man United predicted lineup versus Rangers. Man United predicted lineup versus Rangers for 2 3 1 Onana, Ogunai, Fish, Evans, Murray, Casemiro, Medjbury, Anthony, Mount, Rashford, Wheatley. Rangers vs Man United score prediction. After a youthful side was beaten 1-0 in Norway, Ten Hag will be looking for a reaction from a team that may have a few more senior heads involved this time around. However, it's unlikely to be a swashbuckling performance from Man United given their absentees, especially at the back.